What is going on? It's Vincent here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install aftermarket seats. The seats that I decided to choose are Corbo A4s, and I have a couple reasons for actually choosing these seats. Let's start by taking a look at the stock seats. The bolstering is really soft and squishy. There's not too much support on the seat itself. On the other hand, if we take a look at the A4, the bolstering is nice and aggressive, it's solid, and it's definitely gonna hold me in a lot more when I'm driving. Also, this might just be a me thing, but if we take a look at the material of the seats, it's a pretty suffocating fake leather type of material. But whenever it's like above 50 or 60 degrees, this type of material really suffocates my back, which is why I kind of hate them. If we take a look at the Corbos, they have a nice fabric material, which is gonna give me a lot more ventilation and it's probably gonna be a lot more comfortable to sit in. Lastly, these are reclinable, which is good for me because this is 95% a street car, and having reclinable seats makes a big difference in who can sit in my car comfortably. If and when the time comes that I actually track my car, I'll definitely get something safer and FIA approved. That's enough talk about why I got the seats and all of the other stuff. Let's get started on installing them. Here are the tools that we're gonna need. A ratchet, an extension, a 14 millimeter socket, and a set of Allen keys. To take the seat out, it's pretty easy. There's only four bolts and it's basically one on each corner. Let's start off with the two bolts in the front, then we'll work our way towards the back. To access the two front bolts, you want to be able to slide the seat all the way back as far as you can. And you can do that by grabbing this lever right here, pulling it up, and then pulling the seat back like that. Now that the seat is all the way back, you can see one bolt over here and the other bolt right over here. We're gonna need to take them out. Go ahead and grab your ratchet and then just start unscrewing it. It's pretty simple. After this one is out, we'll move on to the next one that's right over there. Go ahead and take out this bolt just like you took out the other one. Just put these bolts off to the side for now because we're going to need both of them later. Okay, great. We got the front bolts out, but now we need to get the back bolts out. To do that, it's pretty easy. It looks like you can't access it, but all you have to do is flip this reclining lever right here. Bring this forward. Now go to the front of the chair where you use the lever to slide the seat back and forth. And this time we're going to slide the seat all the way forward. Doing this is going to give us access to the bolts in the back. It's a little hard to show you guys from here, so I'll go back here instead. You can see there's one bolt right over there and another one right there. We're going to need to take both of them out. Like I just said, go ahead and take both of these bolts out. And then the last one right here. Make sure that you keep all of these bolts unless your new seat comes with new bolts, but mine doesn't so I'm going to need to be holding onto these. Now that all the bolts are out, you want to lift the whole seat and slide it forward just a tiny bit. Before you go taking the whole seat out, you want to make sure that any electrical connections from your seat are unplugged. A lot of cars these days have electronic adjustability or heated seats, so you want to make sure that you unplug everything before you take the seat out. Once you're sure that everything is disconnected, you can go ahead and just pull the seat out while being careful not to damage anything. I'm looking at my old seats right now, and if you take a look at them, the metal pans that are supposed to be supporting me just decided that they didn't want to exist anymore and rusted themselves out. Okay, so as we all know, whenever you take your seats out, you want to look for anything that's fallen into the abyss. In my case, I have 10 cents and a cough drop. While the seats are out, you might as well take the opportunity to vacuum it. Then go ahead and hit it with some carpet cleaner. Just follow the instructions on the bottle. This is going to leave your car smelling nice and fresh. Once you're done with one side, move on to the other side and clean it up as best as you can. Go ahead and vacuum it, then hit it with some carpet cleaner. That's gonna leave it nice and clean. I finished cleaning up the interior now, but it started drizzling a little bit, so I pulled my car in for the time being. Now let's get started on setting up the seats. So all we really have to do is install the brackets onto the seats and then install the seats right into the car. I was planning to reuse these sliders and fabricate them to work with these seats, but in all honesty, these are old and they're really annoying to use now, so I just decided to buy new ones. Anyways, these sliders are both labeled Mazda Miata passenger side and Mazda Miata driver side. So we have to make sure that we put the right brackets on the right seats. If you have fixed back bucket seats, I don't think it really matters which seat goes on which side, but in my case, I have reclining seats, so it does actually matter whether I could reach the reclining lever or not. Logically, the seat with the lever on the left side is going to be the driver's seat, and the seat with the lever on the right side is going to be the passenger seat. I personally like to put one seat on top of the other because it helps the bottom of the seat stay flat, which makes it easier to install the bracket. Now, there's four mounting holes right here, 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 and here where the bracket is going to attach to. And now, if we take a look at the bracket, there are holes along the edges that the bolts have to go through. So because there's actually a metal frame in the way, you can't access all the bolts at one time. What we're gonna have to do is kind of like the same when we remove the seats from the car. You're gonna have to lift it up and slide it back until you can access the bolts over here. We're gonna start with this side first, and then once we get these bolts in, we can slide it over and get this side done. So we're gonna put the bracket on and make sure that the reclining lever is on the front of the seat. 
and then just line it up with the bolt holes at the top. Go ahead and thread the hardware into the bolt holes. Don't tighten these down yet because we're gonna need to get these in. If this isn't properly lined up and it's tightened down, then we won't be able to move it to line up the bottom bolts. So what we do now is just actually lift the slider and then slide the whole thing back like that. Now we can access the bolts at the bottom. Go ahead and get the other two bolts in. Then you could go ahead and tighten these down all the way. After you tighten this one, go back to the other side and tighten these down too. After you tighten this one, then this one's ready, then we'll move on to the next seat. Just like before, put the seat in a secure spot, line up the bracket with the mounting holes, then start by hand tightening the bolts on one side. After that's tight, slide the bracket back to access the other side, then go ahead and tighten down the bolts. After those are tightened, slide the bracket back and that is going to let us access the other bolts to tighten them down. Now that the seats are set up, you can go ahead and carefully put them back in the car. Make sure nothing gets caught in them and also make sure that the bolt holes are lined up properly. I'm going to start off by hand tightening the front bolts in first, do one and then do the other. Then I'll slide the chair forward so that I can access the bolts in the back. Go ahead and tighten up the bolts in the back and make sure that they're secure. Once the back is tight, slide the chair back so that you can access the bolts in the front and then tighten them down too. Once you've got one of them installed, go ahead and install the next one and then you're done. The seats are fully installed and I think it looks really great. I'm kind of iffy on the black and tan. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments down below. Anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If this video helped you out, then give it a thumbs up. And again, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this color combination. I'll have a video recommended just for you right here. And if you haven't done so yet, you can subscribe right here. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.